Hello. Welcome back to another edition of Junk Your Hack. Um, I want to uh, first of all say I really appreciate all the uh, response I got from the uh, last video I did and, uh, driving this Biscayne on its first uh, drive with an engine in it, this, this engine in it. Um, <clears throat> I'm at uh, 3,000, over 3,200 views on that, which is, uh, for my channel, that's pretty, pretty amazing. I appreciate everybody who uh, checked out the video. I appreciate all my new subscribers. I'm up to 569 right now, which is also amazing. And, 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 and especially in light of the fact that that video was uh, rather poorly made, I admit that. And um, uh, the excuse I gave on the uh, comments was that I was excited and I just didn't take the time to really uh, put out a quality video. So for that, I apologize. Um, but I want to thank everybody who subscribed in any case, uh, regardless of that. Um, I'm just doing this for fun. I'm not going to try to make money. I have a job. Um, so I'm not trying to do this to make money or anything like that. It's just uh, something I do for fun. And um, what I'm going to go over today is uh, all the stuff that we have to button up on now that it runs and drives, okay? There's a lot of stuff we got to go back and actually uh, make make it right, so to speak. Um, in the words of the infamous, in, in the words of the immortal um, Freiberger, okay, David Freiberger, he says, yeah, just get it running, don't get it right, okay? Well, we got it running, and it's definitely not right, so... There's a lot of things we got to go back, and I'm just going to go over some of them real quick. I'm, just, I'm not going to try to bore you to death, but uh, that's, that's what this video is going to be all about. And we'll go in depth, and I'll show you what a real death trap the interior is and what have you. So, anyway, thanks for sticking along, and uh, hang tight. Be right with you. Okay, um, we're going to start at the most unlikely place to start. We're going to start in the back in the trunk. Now, as you can see, the trunk to this uh, Biscayne is awful. And all this has to be cut out. All this rotten, rusted, cottage or uh, Swiss cheese metal has to be cut out. And what I, what I have to do is I have to um, cut that out so that I can mount the gas tank, which are mounted actually on these, um, the... Uh, uh, reinforcement uh, bars that run along there. What I want to do is I want to cut out all this bad metal, uh, put paint some PR15 on these brackets. Now underneath these brackets are pretty good and uh, the rust hasn't um, really gotten them too bad and that's the way I want to keep it. So that's the uh, plan. So um, not for uh, aesthetics or anything like that, it's just the fact that I got it. We're going to put a new gas tank in that. I got it ordered already and that's what we're going to do. We're going to get this cut out and uh, paint the um, support rail so we can get the gas tank installed. I don't have to put a floor in. Um, I don't have to wait, put a floor in before I put the gas tank in, but uh, uh, I want to at least get this stuff cut out. I have, to, I have to get this cut out and get the top part of those... Um, supports exposed so that's what we're looking at up here or back here now inside the car let's go to the driver's side here we have this big hole in the floor where i cut out to expose the um, mounting points to the transmission uh shifter and shift linkage i cut that amount out because it was uh what I needed to, to, to do to access that. So I gotta, I gotta fabricate a cover for that so that it, uh, it covers most of the, um, most of that hole there. And most of our noise and smoke was coming through there as well. So I have to make this, and I, if you notice this shift part here moves with the lever. So I have to make it so that it's above that. So probably what I'm gonna do is put a piece uh, right there that raises it about two inches or so 
and I don't know it might be a might be a pie shaped piece or something like that I'm not sure but I'm gonna be playing with cardboard for a template or something the other side's pretty easy there's no uh, nothing moving on there so I could just uh, make something that clears this saddle right here it could be touching that doesn't matter and uh, yeah that side's gonna be easy so I can essentially put one piece that goes here across to here and then in the front and halfway and then this side piece here is going to be a different a different matter altogether it's got to have that uh, area or clearance we've got to allow clearance for that shifter linkage right there so that's what we got to do um, as you can see there's only one seat in here the driver's seat and that floor over there is pretty ratty um, that's going to need replacement, but I'm not I'm not really worried about that yet. But also, you see here, um, this. So you gotta go put this in here. Yeah, down. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There it is. That is the vacuum line for the transmission, and that is run on fuel lines. So that's another thing that I didn't do right. I just did it to get it running. Um, I have to. I want to get a hard line in there and. Um, run that so that there's a minimal amount of hose rubber hose used so that goes there to the engine compartment and it should be some sort of hard line um i'm thinking maybe five sixteenths or three eighths i'm not sure five sixteenths probably anyway uh gauge wise as you see i had a big hole where the steer where the uh, speedometer is now, that speedometer is not hooked up or anything like that i just got that on ebay it's a cheap speedometer that or not cheap but inexpensive speedometer because it's broken the guy couldn't get it to work so it need it's, it's probably going to need to be pulled reworked but it, it, for now it covers the hole so that i don't have a big gaping hole there where that that part was and that's another thing um one of the things i learned with this car it's a uh car got a junkyard and when you get cars out of the junkyard you find oftentimes they're missing parts okay this was missing quite a few things and because of that, I spent a lot more money than I should have on parts that are, you know, parts to replace it with. The whole windshield wiper setup I had to replace, or it didn't have anything as far as the windshield wipers go. No motor, no transmission, no linkages, no nothing, no wiper arms, nothing. So I had to source all that from at a different junkyards. Got that, uh, you know, that's a, we're talking an expense here that, you know, isn't, uh, is unnecessary so that's one of the things i learned from uh doing these cars is uh be careful and you know if you're going to do a car just try to avoid a junkyard car um but that that being said it's it's done now and everything like that another thing here is you see this uh <clears throat> janky looking turn signal sw switch is a universal turn signal and that's because the turn signal switch in the steering column was was damaged you know beyond repair and um the wiring in this car is pretty much janked and toast. It's uh, probably going to need to be completely rewired, which uh, that's my long-term plan is to completely rewire this car. I want it safe. It doesn't have to be look pretty, but I do want it safe. And in the meantime, um, this will do so that I can get this thing passed inspection and qualify for windshield wipers. This might be a permanent fix. It might not be. I don't know. We'll see down the road. Now... Give me a moment. Okay, in the engine compartment, right here is the uh, kick down for the transmission. It's not hooked up. Um, I didn't think I need, needed that hooked up because I'm not going to be accelerating anywhere, at least not with uh, two gallons of gas and a remote tank. Uh, just pretty much going around the neighborhood that I have. And that's, that's pretty much about it. Um, so... Uh, that's got to be hooked up. Um, let's see what else we got up here. I know I got a lot of stuff up here. Oh yeah, the uh, electric choke. That's easy. Uh, that's got to be hooked up. There's the other end of the um, transmission vacuum line right there. It's got to be hooked up. PCV has nothing to it. That's got to go to the carburetor. There's a spot there. The distributor also has a vacuum advance. It's not hooked up. That the um, fan 
is entirely too far away from the radiator and it has no shroud. And I noticed that it was uh, getting, um, it, it wasn't, it, I didn't overheat, but it was, it was getting to be 200 degrees when it, it shouldn't have been that hot that soon. So, um, yeah, that's got to be, uh, there's got to be some sort of solution to that, either a um, uh, electric fan or I'll have to get a spacer and bring that fan a lot closer to that radiator and get a shroud. Um, I don't know what we'll see. But anyway, those are some of the things that have to be redone and done right uh, before we get that on the road, as well as getting wiring so that I have headlights because I don't have headlights now. And uh, the windshield's toast. It's got a big crack right there. That won't pass inspection. Um, brake lights don't work. So a lot of a lot of stuff, a lot of wiring, things like that have to be done. Be kind of a boring stuff. But uh, in any case, I'm going to keep it up on this car, and we're going to keep working at it and uh, get it right and get it on the road. Hopefully, my goal is to get this thing driving and ready to go by August. I'm not saying pretty. I'm just saying driving on the highway, gas tank, everything else, all the, you know, safe stuff hooked up and everything like that. So anyway, uh, that's it for today's video. I'm getting ready to go inside. It's getting ready to start pouring rain. So adios, stay greasy and uh, God bless everyone. And again, thank you. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I thank everybody for their comments, negative and positive. It just bumps up my algorithm. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.